The defense chiefs of South Korea and the United States have reaffirmed that North Korea will not succeed in driving a wedge in the bilateral alliance, the Pentagon said Saturday. During a meeting in Hawaii Friday, South Korean Defense Minister Song Young moo and U.S. Defense Secretary Jim Mattis addressed concerns that North Korea could be seeking to weaken the alliance through its recent talks with the South. The two sides welcomed the resumed inter-Korean dialogue, which has resulted in North Korea's participation in the Pyeongchang Winter Olympics, the Pentagon said in a release. Both sides reaffirmed their mutual objective of complete, verifiable and irreversible denuclearization of the Korean Peninsula, and agreed to closely cooperate with the international community to ensure that the inter-Korea dialogue, resumed on the occasion of the upcoming Olympic Games, supports this objective, it said. Moreover, they emphasized that any efforts to drive a wedge in the U.S., Republic of Korea alliance would fail. Republic of Korea is the acronym for South Korea's official name, the Republic of Korea. The Pentagon said the two sides also agreed to closely cooperate to ensure a safe and peaceful Olympics, and committed to maintaining a strong defense posture to back up diplomatic efforts to denuclearize the North. Secretary Mattis reaffirmed the United States' ironclad commitment to the Republic of Korea, including its strong extended deterrent commitment, and stressed that any North Korean attack on the United States, its territories or its allies will be met with an effective and overwhelming response, it said. They also committed to close, continued collaboration aimed at making the DPRK change its behavior and come to the negotiating table to discuss denuclearization. DPRK refers to the North's official name, the Democratic People's Republic of Korea. Song discussed South Korea's defense reforms, and both sides voiced their expectation those will help enhance alliance capabilities as well as preparations for the transfer of wartime operational control of South Korean troops from Washington to Seoul. Minister Song, it's a pleasure uh, to welcome you to the U.S. Pacific Command Headquarters, and we're grateful here that yours and my schedules align to permit this ongoing face-to-face -face consultation. I'm returning from Indonesia and Vietnam, where America is strengthening valuable partnerships. And here today, you and I meet as members of an alliance, an ironclad and irreplaceable alliance. And ladies and gentlemen, the Minister of Defense of the Republic of Korea will always be welcome in our headquarters. And here in beautiful Hawaii, we're reminded that America is an enduring Pacific power. Five of our states plus territories all touch on this shared ocean. The Kim regime is a threat to the entire world. It's an international problem that requires an international solution. Our re response to this threat remains diplomacy-led, backed up with military options available to ensure that our diplomats are understood to be speaking from a position of strength. And Minister Song, I want to praise your nation's steadfast action upholding the United Nations sanctions at sea. The Republic of Korea has impounded two ships that were found violating the United Nations resolutions using ship-to-ship -ship transfer of cargo at sea. As usual, the Republic of Korea leads by example in carrying out the United Nations sanctions. In so doing, sir, you remind the DPRK that risking its economy to boost its rockets makes it less secure, not more. As two peace-loving nations, the Republic of Korea and America welcome the Olympic Games talks between the ROK and DPRK, and at the same time, remaining steadfast with the International Economic Pressure Campaign to denuclearize the Korean Peninsula. Diplomacy should repose reason on Kim's reckless rhetoric and dangerous provocations. So we do not lose sight of the fact that the Olympics talks alone do not address overarching problems. Accordingly, our combined militaries stand shoulder to shoulder, ready to defend against any attack on the ROK or USA. As Secretary Tillerson has said, our aim remains the complete, verifiable, and irreversible denuclearization of the Korean Peninsula. And Russia, France, the Chinese, Chinese United Kingdom, United States, and others in three unanimous Security Council resolutions have spoken with one voice. 
So the international pressure campaign must continue as remind, if we remind the world, those listening for Yang Yang and elsewhere, of what responsible members of the international community stand for and what we will not tolerate. Minister Song, thank you again for traveling to Hawaii so we can continue our close consultations. As always, I look forward to our conversation and would you like to make a few public remarks before we sit down together? Secretary Mattis, Admiral Harris, I believe this is the third or fourth time that I've been in this room. And I've been here as an active duty Navy officer, and now that I'm here as the Minister of National Defense, especially with the journalist, I would like to say welcome, and it is great to be back. First, Secretary Mattis, I know he has a very busy schedule that has spanned the entire Southeast Asia recently. And despite his busy schedule, it is great to be able to see him at this, uh, this place in Hawaii, the Pacific Command. Secretary Mattis and I share an understanding that we should not only maintain close communication at all times, 365 days a, 365 days a year, but also that we should be able to uh, see each other as often as possible. And I believe this conference uh, can speak to the shared confidence of myself and Secretary Mattis that we both understand each other well and that as an alliance we always go together. Uh, UN 안보리 결의라든지 또 대북한 문제 같은 것 등에 대해서 매트 상관님께서 말씀하셨을 때는 생각하시는 것입니다. On the issues of UNSC resolutions and the North Korean problem, Secretary Mattis has already spoken at length, so I will not be mentioning much here. 우리 두 사람은 오늘 회담을 통해서 변함없이 한미 동맹의 국건함과 한반도 비핵화를 위한 대북 공조를 확인하는 동시에. Through this conference, Secretary Mattis and I will be discussing the firm ROC US alliance, as well as uh, reaffirming the firm coordination between the ROC and US against North Korea in order to denuclearize the Korean Peninsula. At the same time, we will also be discussing some measures of cooperation between our two countries to ensure the safe and peaceful opening of the Pyeongchang Winter Olympics. 또한 우리 한국의 문재인 대통령께서 남북 대화와 미국 대화를 전인 남북 대화는 미국 대화를 전인하기 위한 대화라, 대화라고 말씀하신 데 대해 우리 매트 시상관과 같이 의견도 교환할 예정입니다. And Secretary Mattis and I will also be exchanging in, uh, um, some our opinions on President Moon Jae-in's statement that the inter-Korea dialogue is a dialogue ultimately to draw North Korea to a, a dialogue with the United States. Uh, furthermore, we will also be discussing some of the alliance issues in order to further strengthen the combined defense posture. And I, I, be, I believe and I am certain that this conference will be another opportunity for us to further consolidate and strengthen the alliance. I, I would like to once again emphasize that um, I am delighted to be here with Secretary Mattis and uh, Admiral Harris. And this afternoon, I am looking forward to the deep and honest conversation that we'll be having. Thank you.